Hey guys, what's up? It's me, James, and today I'm reporting from none other than San Francisco, home of Alcatraz, the Golden Gate Bridge, and what else? Gay Mecca! So, I'm gonna take you around some of the really cool sites, including some of the gay bars, some of the amazing restaurants, but more importantly, the GLBT History Museum. The Castro holds many great venues like Q Bar, Hot Cookie, Slurp, 440 or Daddy's, and my new favorite restaurant, Lark. San Francisco holds the only GLBTQ museum. Yes, we have our own museum. We're um, basically the public face of our archives. Um, we have archives downtown San Francisco, which are much more expansive than this and go back uh, 150 plus years of uh, LGBTQ history uh, in San Francisco, based around Northern California mostly. And the museum here is, uh, we opened this six years ago as basically a way to show what we have in the archives and try to represent all the different communities that we have uh, in our archives, all, all the individual stories. The archives have about 900 different collections from organizations and individuals and thousands of other artworks. And uh, Right here we have the uh, Bears of San Francisco exhibit focusing on uh, Fran Frisch, who is a, kind of a ubiquitous artist. In the main gallery we have a wide variety of different exhibits. Uh, we change those out regularly too to bring in different pieces of our community. Um, you know, people identify with different parts of the LGBTQ community, and if we don't have that represented and shown to them, then they feel very isolated and alone. So, I think it's an important role that we play. For a non-gay bar scene, you can check out Dolores Park, also known as the Gay Beach. People come out here on a sunny day to chill with their friends, have a picnic, or simply stay out in the sun and tan in a nice swimsuit. Hey guys, so for a gay alternative scene, you can come to Soma or South Market. Here you'll find Folsom Street, which has bars that are kind of associated with the leather scene or the leather daddy scene. You can find places like Studs or Our House or even Lone Star. Stud has been a San Francisco staple for many, many years. It's the home of the, like, queer subculture underbelly drag queen uh, phenomenon that a lot of queens take advantage of to explore kind of the deeper, darker side of, of some of their shows. All right guys, let's go check out the Eagle. Come on. San Francisco is a must for every traveler. How good that bus is leaving, by the That is uh, very cool. Let me look out for that. I'm not gonna screw that. Hopefully, I'm in fucking focus. Come to South of Market, which stands for. Oh, fuck. I did that backwards. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I was gonna do this. <laughs> you guys can go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll try it again. No, I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah. You like, look like you can't find the way. Well, yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> one more time. The first part was good. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> go. I can't find my way inside. How did I get into this paper bag? <laughs> oh, here. I'll, I'll, I'll just walk through. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> They're terrible. Pace a little bit longer. Um, I'm so much. Sorry, man. Photo <laughs> <Moto> bomb! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was good though, that was good. Uh, yeah.